Elvin CSS is a very helpful tool when you use it with React.js. Now today we are going to learn how to use Tailwind CSS with React.js. Now I see many people struggle with that. They think that is something difficult but believe me that is super duper easy. So let's start it. So I already created a project, empty project obviously and my project is also running. Now our goal is we need to go to the tailwindcss.com and our goal is we need to bring the Tailwind CSS on our React project. So how to do that? We came to the website, click on the get started and now here you have so many options Tailwind CLI, Port CSS, Flamer Guides, Plate CDN. We want to go for the Flamer Guides. Click on the Flamer Guides. Now we can see all the framework available for Tailwind but we are interested on Create React App. So click on the Create React App and now there is only like six steps. I am going to blindly follow the steps. Just blindly follow the step but don't worry I am going to explain you what I am doing. Fine. So let's get to the step number one and I can make it a little big. Uh, yeah, it is looking nice. More? No. Yeah. So my so the first step is it see npx create react app and the app name we already done. We already create a app. Second thing is say go to under the app directory. We are already under the app directory and we run our servers. So first step is clear. If you don't create an app, please create an app and go to your directory. Now it says second step install Tailwind CSS. Fine, then we can do that. It says npx install minus d Tailwind CSS. So in this command is doing nothing, just simply installing the Tailwind CSS. So I can just copy. I can came to my project. I need to stop my server. And my server is stopped. Yep. Clean the terminal. And now I can just run the command npm install Tailwind CSS and it going to install Tailwind CSS for me. Fine. And yeah, my Tailwind CSS is installed. Now the thing is it say npx Tailwind CSS in it. So also we can just run the command. What the command does? This command basically create a tailwind.config.file in here. And you can manually create the file also but I like to follow the documentation. I can just hit enter and something going to be happened come on come on yep see one file is generated for us i can just make it little here now one tailwind.config.js file is generated and some code is written correct don't worry about the code you are going to know that fine so our step two is successfully uh, done and i hope still now it is not difficult correct third step says configure your template path what that mean don't need to worry that you just need to understand copy and paste that's it i can just copy the entire thing i can came here tailwind.config.js and i can paste the entire thing done getting it now the third step say go to the tailwind uh, tailwind.config.js and put all the code so we came to tailwind.config.js and put all the codes now there is another thing i just love to explain this thing it's a content source something something it's a js jsx ts tsx what it basically says uh, like support those files whoever file has a dot js extension dot jsx extension support that file getting it so done nothing more nothing else and we are done now we are done with the third step now we need to come to the fourth step what fourth step does like fourth step says add the tailwind directory to your css what is tailwind directory if you know very good if you don't know just forget that only thing you need to know you need to create a index.css file and paste all the code under the index.css file done getting it so i can do that i can just create an index.css file where under the source under the source i can create an index.css file okay i already have the file uh index dots yeah this one and i don't need this code by the way this code is okay this code is coming by the react when you create a react project react by default generate the index.css file so i can just remove all the index.css code and i can just copy this code and paste it here and again if you don't getting it what is add the tailwind don't need to worry only you need to worry you need to have the thing it means you need to put the code under the index.css done and now we are almost done still the fourth step is the main step in the fifth step say run your server we can do that 
and in the six steps eh, you can start using tailwind okay we can also do that so we can came here we can i can run my server npm start and come on and then we need to put some tailwind css code to see i can just copy this line i can just copy the h1 came here my server is still starting in the manual time so in that time i can just cut those files i need my app.js this one yep and come on yeah server started please and i i don't need that much of the thing i just need cut and i need this guy i just need the heading and come on bro just start please uh i can just form a document a little and i want to show another thing you can install an extension of tailwind means go to this extension tab and search for tailwind and you will see an extension you need to install the extension what benefit is this guy you need to install this extension what benefit you get by that you get i sorry you get suggestions but for that i i installed the extension i came here now if i type any tailwind thing that was if i type flex so see i'm getting suggestion so where the suggestion coming from for that extension fine so i think my code my thing is done i can came here refresh the page and i think yeah the tailwind is there uh, i hope so yeah the tailwind is there or i can do now one thing i can make a text red uh i think 600 is nice and i can make a front bolt na? yeah front bolt is fine i can came here refresh and see the text red is applied meaning my tailwind is working fine so i hope you're getting it it is not difficult to use tailwind css you just need to blindly follow the step and still the fourth step that is the thing you need to worry about fifth step and sixth step is nothing fifth step meaning to say start your server six steps meaning to say start uh, like start using the tailwind so i hope you getting i hope this thing is working if you get any error or any issue please comment down below i love to answer you i love to like reply and help you so yep i think that's it for today and we'll see you in the next video